Jesus Santos, guys, let him be here one more time. Serving our country and then serving up the best. And uh, next time coming up, he's Long Beach local. He just gave birth. Well, he didn't give birth. Uh, that'd be really cool. But, uh, <laughs> now, he performs all over. He's one of my favorite locals. And in general, just perfect. Just a great guy. Give it up for Marty Works, guys. I just gave birth. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for all the mustaches you've seen so far. <laughs> uh, it's weird. Just like an hour ago, I was dealing with my son screaming. I've got a baby at home. And he just figured out how to walk, so he's like charging everything like the Kool-Aid guy. Like, ah, I'm gonna run through this wall. <laughs> Good. Any parents here? Parents? Yeah. Thank you for your service. Uh, I appreciate it. My son's name is Henry. It's really weird to uh, name your son before he's born. Because there's like that possibility of like, oh, is this name, is he even going to look like a Henry? Are we going to force this name on him when he's clearly a T-bone? <laughs> T-Bone, get in here. T-Bone, we gotta talk about your report card. Uh, no, luckily he's, he's definitely a Henry. Uh, it's like a race right now, because he's almost talking, so there's that like, oh, is he gonna say mommy, is he gonna say daddy? And he's sounding up the dee 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 dee, so I got all excited, like, oh, this is, this is gonna be it. Like, dee dee dee, yeah, like, say daddy, say daddy. He's like, dee dee, say daddy. He's like, Trump won. <laughs> You know it. I know it. <laughs> I was like, shit. Uh, Thanksgiving's gonna be awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to look him in the eye. All right. I didn't know what I was, I mean, this is cliche, but I didn't know what I was getting into being a parent. There's so many things I didn't know. And I guess that's the common thing. You just jump in, you try to survive or whatever. This blew my mind. I don't know if anyone else was on board with this, but babies don't drink water? What the fuck? <laughs> like, I thought my wife was messing with me, so I just played along, like, oh yeah, they don't need oxygen or love either, right? <laughs> you just plug them into the wall and they charge overnight. She's like, no. <laughs> Like they get all the nutrients they need from the breast milk. Like they don't have to have like a glass of water for months. It's like crazy, right? Like I thought I was gonna hear a voice in the middle of the night, like, Psst, "Hey, get me some water." <laughs> She's trying to kill me. <laughs> so I flick some water on his face, like, "Don't dry up, little baby. <laughs> Stay strong." <laughs> like, what is he a gremlin? He can't have water. And don't feed him after midnight. Okay. So my baby was crawling out of the desert. Just like chapped lips, sand all over his face. He's just like on his last legs. Like, ah, ah. And I got a canteen of water on my side. I'm just supposed to pick him up and be like, hey, I'm sorry. Babies don't drink water. And then turn him around and send him on his way. So watch out for those titty mirages. They'll get you. <laughs> Godspeed, baby. <laughs> uh, I love horror movies. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah! Oh man, it's my crowd, yes! <laughs> Finally! Uh, I've been watching a lot of evil kid movies. I think it's kind of fun, especially now that I'm a father. <laughs> so I look at my son differently now, like, what are you thinking, huh? <laughs> Because he does crazy shit at home. Like, he he's like gravitates towards the most dangerous things in the room. Those are the electrical sockets. Like, today, and he's smiling while he does all this. Like, he's turning on the gas oven. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a little baby death wish. Uh, but I love evil kid movies because, I, mean, I don't know, it's just like my comfort food. You know what to expect. <laughs> it's always a weird kid actor. 
and he doesn't say anything for the first 45 minutes, and then he just drops the bomb like, Mommy, kitty cat fell into the waffle maker. <laughs> You're like, what? And the dad never suspects the kid is guilty. He just blows it off like, that damn cat's always trying to make breakfast. <laughs> We gotta lock up that waffle maker. <laughs> but the mom always knows what's up. She's like, you don't see him, he's evil. <laughs> he's like, do you don't yell at Barnabas, you're scaring him. <laughs> like, why did we name him Barnabas? <laughs> and I guess, I guess part of the appeal of watching these movies is like, I don't know. I feel like I could raise the son of Satan. <laughs> I feel like it'd be a, a break. I don't know, the, the pressure would be off. It just, it's like I could be a, I could be a terrible parent and it wouldn't matter. Because, you know, he's, he's the son of Satan. He gives a shit. Right? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He dies? Like, oh no, I heard Damien passed away. Like, I don't give a shit. Up, up top. That's probably the only situation you could high five over a dead kid. Uh, I think my worst fear is like when my son is going to have those public meltdowns. Like I've had nightmares about that shit. You know, I'm dragging him out of the toy store and he's freaking out. Like, I want my Batman! I want my Batman! But with the son of Satan, it's just like, you know, he's, he wants to murder everybody, but quietly. Right? He sits in his room, just speaking Latin to his teddy bear, like, you're not paying for the day. Oh, we'll chip off the old block. It's adorable. Every once in a while, he'll throw me a curveball, like, Dad, can I have a goat? What do you want a goat for? First sacrifice. Oh, all right. <laughs> so I wouldn't be able to resist those yellow cat's eyes looking up at me like, ah. Oh. All right, you clean your room and then we'll, we'll carve them up together. <laughs> I think I would sleep better, too. Because, like, what, if Damien's going to have nightmares? Like, what the hell scares him? <laughs> like, oh, Damien, it's okay, it's okay. Nobody's going to get you. If anything, you're going to get them, right? <laughs> when you're evil incarnate, you're fine. And you're on top, buddy. Now close your eyes, take us something horrible, and I'll sing you to sleep, okay? The beautiful ping pong, the beautiful ping pong, the beautiful ping pong. Down like a light. I kiss his forehead, it burns my lips, like, oh! So, <laughs> I have boring dreams. <laughs> Sorry for the weird segue. <laughs> he stopped for 30 minutes and then he continued. <laughs> now I have uh, I have the dreams where I wake up in the morning and I'm like, that was a fucking waste of time. <laughs> like we're supposed to live out our fantasies. Like do something fun, like fly, have an affair, do something. <laughs> Last night I dreamt I used TurboTax. <laughs> it's kind of expensive. I don't even know if I got a refund. I woke up. I had a dream where I helped my friend move to Burbank. I like, God damn it, man. It's bad enough when you gotta help your friends move and I gotta dream it. It's not like a nightmare where I'm lucky to wake up before the monster gets me. Like, no, I slept for seven hours. Moving heavy furniture. <laughs> I pulled my back out. Like, I woke up, my back still hurt. Like, oh, the dream is so vivid. <laughs> so everyone's salivating over my dreams. I wish I could have Marty's dreams. <sighs> Terrible. If I could dream about anything, I'd probably dream about it. 
dream about yogurt land. <laughs> I fucking love yogurt land. It's my drug of choice. So do I. They, they got new flavors every month. It's self-serve and the employees don't look at me. Which is what I want. I just go in there. I love the whole experience. Just go in there, you know, you fill up your cup with all the flavors. And then I never have enough room for the toppings, so I gotta get a second cup just for the toppings. But, oh, you know, the Oreo cookies, you know, they got the yogurt chips, the cookies, and, and the boba, whatever the fuck that is. And you put it all on top, take it over the scale. They're like, all right, that's seven pounds, that'll be $200. I'm like, great. I eat it up in five minutes, I'm like, oh, just pure bliss. <laughs> Yogurt Land has it figured out. <laughs> Some of these places, they don't, they don't let you put on the toppings. Some of these other shitty yogurt froyo places, like what? Like, I'm supposed to trust some teenager to like put on my toppings like, oh, is that enough? Like, what are you doing, man? What is there, a gummy bear shortage? Pile it on! <laughs> Don't put them face down, they can't breathe. <laughs> All the gummy bears looking. Now we can dance, all right. I saw this one guy he got plain tart yogurt, no toppings. What? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Like, live your life, bro. What are you afraid of? That was such a red flag. I tried to signal the cashier, like, you should start pressing the red button under the counter. Some shit's about to go down. I don't trust this plain tart yogurt freak. So that guy left and went on a crime spree. No one would be surprised. It's like, oh, some guy stole a tank and drove it through a petting zoo. It's like, yeah, no toppings. <laughs> I solved the case. <laughs> we all saw this coming. So, you know, the detectives would freak out. You mean this guy came in, got a plain tart yogurt, made a beeline past the Captain Crunch, and you didn't stop him? <laughs> Did anyone look into this guy's throw-go history? <laughs> I'm sorry if anyone likes playing tart yogurt. <laughs> but if you, you know, if you're a friend of this person, just keep an eye on them. You know. They might steal a tank and drive through a pen zoo. <laughs> I shop at the Ralphs on 4th. Anyone else? <laughs> it's nice to be that specific for the show. <laughs> You know, I hang out in aisle three, sometimes next to the marshmallows, you know. You'll hang out after. Does anyone buy anything from the discount rack at Ross? <laughs> That's a terrifying place to go. They only sell three things. Expired Peeps, Moldy Bread, and WD-40. <laughs> And I, I look over there sometimes and there's someone just sniffing around. <laughs> they don't buy anything, they just stick their finger in bread and then move on. <laughs> there's always an open container, an open container of cookies that are like half gone. And it's by the employee's restroom. It's like, oh. It's like, ooh, look at those discounts. I'm gonna take a shit and steal some cookies. <laughs> Thanks, Ralphs! <laughs> so these are the people that are too good to just shop at the 99 cent store. They're like, no, 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 I like my food tampered with. I don't care how cheap it is. <laughs> uh, I uh, go in a second, but I just want to say I have my first comedy album coming out next month. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's called 7-Eleven Surveillance Camera. <laughs> Alright, so I couldn't afford to get my own special together. So I told jokes to the camera outside for like an hour and a half. 
And the first 15 minutes kind of suffers because a Wonder Bread truck parks in front of me. So it's just some asshole unloading bread for like 15 minutes. It's technically like as my opener, but whatever. You know. You're just gonna hang in there, it gets really good. Thanks a lot guys, I'm Marty Morris, enjoy the show. Worse, guys, one more time for um, uh, Scott Morton.